okay so the last topic of this chapter is water this is actually the most important one okay so what do we all know the molecular formula is h2o and oxygen is sp3 hybridized here where the two lone pairs are there in the sp3 hybrid orbital and the two hydrogen present like this okay so we all know hybridization is sp3 geometry is tetrahedral and what is the shape here shape is v shape or bent shape or angular shape v bent or angular okay so all these orbitals are sp3 hybridized orbital in which the lone pairs present and the bond pair is also there okay bonding and all we know we have discussed it already so its property is like first of all pure water write down pure h2o is bad conductor of electricity conductor of electricity colorless testless and odorless odorless due to hydrogen bonding due to h bonding it is also known as it is also known as associated molecule associated molecule next write down pure water is neutral is neutral and act as act as weak electrolyte what is electrolyte what is electrolyte so electrolytes are those substance or molecules which dissociates into ions in aqueous solution for example if you take a uh, nacl right so nacl when you dissolve in water it won't exist as a molecule that is nacl but it exist as na plus and cl minus so this is called an electrolyte which dissociates into its ionic form h2so4 is an electrolyte right hcl is an electrolyte so basically all acids base and salts are electrolytes all acids base salts are electrolytes correct now electrolyte also depending upon its dissociating tendency to what extent it can dissociate it is classified into two categories weak electrolyte and strong electrolyte weak electrolyte no it's not 
it dissociates, but dissociation is not 100%. Means to some extent it will dissociate. It exists at H plus and OH minus, but not completely. Okay, because it is a weak electrolyte. Weak electrolytes are those substances which does not dissociate completely. I mean, suppose you have taken 10 molar. The point I'm trying to make, suppose you have CS3COOH. It is also a weak electrolyte, okay? So it dissociates as CS3CO, O minus and H plus. So if you have, suppose, uh, suppose initial concentration is C, this is zero, this is zero. So after some time, it won't become zero and this is C and C, it won't happen. Means this compound will entirely, it won't convert into its ions. Some amount of this will be left in the solution. Means out of C, suppose few moles will get dissociate. Suppose X moles dissociate out of C. So it will be C minus X, X and X, like this will happen. But if it is a strong electrolyte, for example, if I'm taking NaCl, NaCl is a strong electrolyte, so it completely dissociates into Na plus and Cl minus. So if it is C0, zero, 0 initially, so after some time this becomes 0, there's no more NaCl present, entirely it converts into Na plus and Cl minus. This is the difference between a strong and weak electrolyte. Yeah, got it? Tell me. So all, no, there will be exchange of electron, but the molecule will retain its property in the solution. There will be in, after some time, if you look at this mixture, in the mixture, you will get CS3COOH, you'll get CS3CO minus, you'll get H plus. So there will be transfer of electron, but entirely this compound won't decompose into this. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, so is this about electrolyte we'll discuss in ionic equilibrium. Okay, there we'll talk about the strong and weak electrolyte. Usually you can understand all strong acids, strong base and salt of strong acids and strong base are strong electrolytes. Okay, what did I say? In order, in general, you can, you can memorize this. Strong acids, strong base and salt of strong acid and strong base. Okay, all are strong electrolytes. Weak acid, weak base, and salt of it are weak electrolyte. Clear? Just one second. Correct. So this is this is the understanding of electrolyte we have. Now water we have two types. Okay. Write down. There are two types of water. That is hard water and soft water. This is the most important topic of this chapter. The only thing that you need to you know, keep in mind for sure. First of all, you write down the definition of soft water. Write down. Water which produces Water which produces sufficient lather with soap is called soft water, right? 
hard water it's not like hard water does not produce but relatively hard water consumes more amount of detergent or soap to produce lather okay so write down it forms it forms insoluble scum before it forms lather with soap means there are some particles present into hard water those particles consumes soap first okay and forms scum insoluble scum once all these particles precipitate out then it starts producing lather with soap okay this is the difference we have so basically hard water contains some particles okay some ions which consumes the soap and does not produce lather okay once all these particles uh, you know get gets precipitate then it it starts producing lather okay so the difference between the two types of water is is that soft water contains relatively lesser amount of you know consumes relatively lesser amount of soap or detergent to produce lather right hard water consumes more amount of soap or detergent correct in like daily use the water that we use is hard water okay depends upon area wise like like what amount it requires of soap and detergent but usually it is hard water now what you need to know that what is the reason of hardness first of all right what are the different types of hardness and what is the removal uh, you know what is the uh, way by which we can remove these hardness okay so you see uh, there are two types of hardness right and before that you write down the reason of hardness and then we'll see the types of hardness here the reason of hardness you write down it is because of it is because of the presence of presence of bicarbonates and sulfates and sulfates of calcium and magnesium of ca2 plus ion and mg2 plus ion in general this is the thing we have bicarbonates and sulfates so once all these ions precipitates ca2 plus and mg2 plus then it starts producing lather okay so there are two types of hardness we have types of hardness first one is temporary
and the second one is permanent hardness permanent hardness next we'll see what is the reason of this temporary hardness and what is the removal way write down first write down temporary hardness it is due to is due to the presence of presence of bicarbonates of of calcium and magnesium bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium okay what is the removal process removal process the first the simplest method is by boiling you can simply boil and this kind of hardness will go off okay so what happens on boiling right on on boiling bicarbonates decomposes into decomposes into carbonates which precipitates out so if you look at the reaction here bicarbonates we have cah co3 hold twice you heat this it forms cco3 carbonate co2 and h2 this forms the ppt and it is precipitated out right similarly we have mg hco3 hold twice and when you heat this again it forms mg co3 ppt plus co2 plus h2 done okay now the second method of removal we have here is by clark's process in clark's process one question they ask very often here that what we add in clark's process in water right for the removal of temporary hardness so this process involves write down this process involves involves the addition of 
of slaked lime calculated amount of slaked lime what is the formula of slaked lime slaked lime is calcium hydroxide caoh hold twice okay caoh hold twice slaked lime so we add slaked lime into this which forms insoluble carbonate here so if you look at the reaction again we have bicarbonates cahco3 hold twice and when you add caoh hold twice in this it converts into two molecules of caco3 and h2o again this carbonate forms the ppt and precipitate if you talk about the next one is mghco3 hold twice reacts with caoh hold twice converts into two caco3 plus h2 ye ban jayega right this is the reaction now in this in instead of slaked lime this is important note down this point instead of slaked lime we can also add we can also add cao quick lime for this purpose means in clark's process the answer is caoh hold twice only this is what we add but we can also have the same purpose same you know effect when we add cao why because this cao if you add into water so this reacts with h2o and converts into slaked lime which is caoh hold twice and then this slaked lime will react with the bicarbonate which is present in the water and gives the same reaction so we can also have the same thing when we add cao quick lime into it done next write down the second one that is permanent hardness permanent hardness it is due to the presence of reason write down reason is the presence of sulfates and chlorides of chlorides of calcium and magnesium sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium write down to remove this type of hardness to remove this type of hardness yeah one second i'll go back
Yeah. So, presence of sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium. Write down in this. To remove this type of hardness, To remove this type of hardness, we use we use various substance or molecules. To use this type of uh, you know. Uh, to remove this type of hardness, we use various substance and these substance are called water softeners. These substance are called water softeners. Right? And the various water softeners are various water softeners. Important this one is water softeners are the first one you write down we have washing soda what is the formula of washing soda its chemical name is sodium carbonate Right, Na2CO3. So write down, it removes both temporary and permanent hardness. All these informations are very important. Both temporary and permanent, temporary and permanent hardness So what happens in this, the chloride we have CaCl2, chloride once you add washing soda that is Na2CO3 into this and we heat this, first of all it forms calcium carbonate precipitates out and it forms NaCl, right, so CaCO3 will go out. If you have CaSO4 sulfate, Na2CO3, it converts into again CaCO3 plus Na2SO4. Okay, this is for permanent hardness, chloride and sulfate. Okay, for permanent hardness. Fine. For temporary hardness, if you look at the reaction here, it is because of bicarbonate, so reaction of bicarbonate, CaHCO3 whole twice plus Na2CO3, it forms again CaCO3 plus NaHCO3. Right. This is how it removes the temporary hardness as well. Okay. Instead of Na2CO3, we can also use, instead of Na2CO3, we can also use NaOH. We can also use NaOH or we can also use sodium phosphate, Na2, Na3PO4. This two also we can use instead of NO2CO3 for the same purpose. Okay, NaOH and Na3PO4 will get this. So washing soda is one of the water softeners, NaOH also water softeners, Na3PO4 also water softeners. Done. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can use both will give you the same thing. Both we can use CaOH, hold twice, we can use washing soda, we can use same thing. Another water softener we have, we call it as permuted. Common name is permuted. Okay. Its technical name is hydrated silicates of it is the hydrated silicates of aluminium and sodium. Aluminium and sodium. Okay, hydrated silicates of aluminium and sodium. The formula is Na3, sorry, Na2, Al2. Si2O8 and it is a hydrated form, so water of crystallization we can have any XH2. The chemical name is sodium aluminosilicate or we also call it as sodium geolite. Sodium geolite. This is also used for the removal of both temporary and permanent hardness. Right down here, it removes both temporary and and permanent hardness. Okay, done. Okay. So the third and the last one we have the water softener, we call it as Calgan. It is the complex salt of complex salt of metaphosphoric acid. Metaphosphoric acid. Also call it as sodium hexametaphosphate. Sodium hexameta phosphate. Formula, if you see this NaPO3 6. The actual bonding, if you see, it is a complex compound. And the actual bonding is Na2, open bracket, Na4PO3, six bracket close. This is the actual bonding. Okay. 
okay it easily eliminates calcium and magnesium ion i'll show you the reaction here 2caso4 sulfate of calcium reacts with this na2 na4 pf3 all six it converts into na2 ca2 po3 six plus we get 2 na2 so4 sulfate it removes if you have mgso4 na2 na4 po3 six converts into na2 mg2 po3 six plus 2 na2 so4 this is the reaction we get okay this is how it removes both type of like this one the sorry the calgen removes only permanent hardness right down it removes only permanent hardness Done. Finish, guys. yeah so this is it for this chapter okay we are done with this next chapter we will be starting s block that is group 1 okay because so we don't have time much today so i'm not starting this any chapter today we'll start it next class we'll see some questions okay questions on uh, this states of matter show you some question Okay, try this question. Forty to forty-four. All question is solved, and then we'll start discussing it. Five questions. Fifteen minutes.